Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Junior and Project 3, A Legacy of Time. Right, we have what we came for, sort of. And now, we need to help Sida to transmute the artifact we got into what he, the artifact we need. And according to the temple, the person we need is a pilgrim on the other side of the bridge. Now we best keep another guys. After all, we can't really expose ourselves. Looking like he is. Hey you, we need your help. You have nearly completed the true path. Now, for the final step, you must shed all the trappings and illusions that surround you. Uh, how about I just give you the lotus? I have finished the path. I have the artifact. Can you change it to the proper form? I cannot transform this into its final form until you finish the path. To finish the path, you must be true to yourself. To be true to yourself, you must be true to others. Shrouding oneself in illusions deludes others and leads you off the path. He wants you to shed all the trappings that surround you. Whoa, Gage! Keep your shirt on. We'll figure this out before it comes to that. <laughs> now this is actually quite clever of the game. Because it's asking us to do something we've been told we should ne never ever do in the past. And that's reveal our true self to someone. But of course we don't really have a choice. If we want this... Then we need to go without a guise. And be our true self. I've dropped my guise and have completed the path. Can you transform this for me? You have completed the path, Traveler. You are indeed worthy. He's a Jedi too. Goodbye. You have journeyed far, Traveler. And you have completed the path by honoring the ancient virtues. And you have saved my soul by allowing me to help another. I am on a new path now. I am eternally grateful. I wish you peace, traveler, and success. I have it! I found the third artifact. You're just in time, Gage. The Pothalus, they just entered Earth's orbit. It won't be long before they locate the TSA. Receiving a high priority communication from the Sorolan cruiser Aquila. We have felt a great disturbance from the TSA. You have the legacy. If we have sensed it, 
believe that the Quotha lost know as well. We are sending Sir Roland Sentinels to assist you. Now well, that isn't helping. The Kothalas have breached the outer shielding. All security teams prepared to intercept. I say again, the Kothalas have breached Gage, the outer shielding. Gage, before everything gets even more chaotic, I... I just wanted to say... Well, be careful. Your concern is touching, Michelle. Time for Gage, the, final the three artifacts are projecting some kind of image. I recognize some of the elements. Remember the Sasequi symbol that the Sirolan ambassador showed us? Yep. This pendant is an ancient Sasequi relic that our archaeologists discovered on another planet. We believe this symbol is a Sasequi marking that represents their legacy. The true legacy might also bear this mark. I think we need to create that symbol by manipulating these artifacts. If I'm not mistaken, each artifact is projecting its forward face to create that central image. That is true. That Sosequi symbol must have a special meaning. If I were taking a Rorschach inkblot test, I would say it looks like a butterfly. Interpreted another way, it could possibly represent the struggle for the legacy. Notice the claw-like hands grasping for the three pyramid objects? Those could represent three races, all grasping for the powers of the legacy. When you touch the front face of one of the artifacts, it stops projecting its image into the center. That could be extremely helpful. By turning off a piece, you can see how it affects the central image. Hmm. Looks like each of the faces are unique, and with three pyramid-shaped objects, each with four faces, carry the one, there are exactly 1,728 possible combinations. I assume there's at least one combination in there that will solve whatever test this is. Or this thing is unsolvable and we go absolutely drooling mad trying. Let's keep turning these pieces to see if there is some relationship that could help us. I'm sure there is. Let's see. Um, if I flip it like that... Oh, that's almost right. Um, now I understand how the image is being generated. The central image is a composite of all three artifact faces. It looks like the overlapping regions between any two pieces cancel each other out. Well... Uh, let's see... No, that is close, but not quite. I have too many triangles.
and we quietly work away at this puzzle while it rages around us. Puzzle isn't that hard. Just can't quite remember <laughs> the which ones I need. Yeah, flipping that doesn't do anything. Let's see. What if I flip these around a bit? It's very nice that it all's gone in silence since the music doesn't play anymore. Let's see. And then both of these had one side that only those symbols. Now that those symbols are always in the same place. How hard can this possibly be? that cancels it out, so this has to face a different way.
doesn't solve anything. right kind of symbols. Just can't get them in the right position. Let's get this one. Something which doesn't have. This one always has at least one uh, one triangle on them. Got it! The legacy was meant for all races! Can't you see the cycle is happening again? Your two races are battling each other over something that's supposed to bring peace. I won't let you turn this place into another battleground. You face hugger. Right, Gage, go on, do it, do it, beat the Messiah. Know that the Sosequi have long since transcended your universe. Our legacy has waited thousands of years for its proper heir. It contains the sum of our wisdom. It is the collective essence of what we were, and what we are, and what we will be. This knowledge must be tempered with maturity. Its secrets will be shared with the many races around the galaxy, but only when they are ready 
was such, such an awesome responsibility. Until that time, the legacy will be safeguarded by beings who have already demonstrated their worth. Wielding the disciplines of time, matter, and life. Humans will claim their birthright and become the stewards of the Sosiqui legacy. They will share its knowledge with the galaxy when the other races have proven their worthiness. We understand the elders, and we will obey. A great fate lurks in the future of humankind. Elliot told me that often. You must be Gage Blackwood. I am. The service was very touching, Reverend. You wanted to see me? Yes. Throughout his long life, Elliot always believed that it was his duty to guide humanity toward a destiny. But ten years ago, when the Sirolans came to invite us into the symbiotry, he misjudged and insisted that they had come to conquer. Blinded by his zeal to protect Earth, he acted rashly. I was imprisoned on Vega Thalon, yes, I know. I put him there. Gage, when you came to see Elliot, prison had already eroded his faith in humanity and his will to live. But he, he asked me to tell you that you were not responsible for his death. A great time is coming in our history, he said, and he believed that you would help to usher it in. That thought comforted Elliot in his last moments. I want to thank you for coming, Gage. Thank you, Reverend. Oh, it's the little cock that he gave us in Atlantis. He was a great man once. You know, his death really wasn't your fault. Gage, I wanted to thank you. I didn't expect to see you at my hearing, but because of your testimony, they commuted my sentence. You redeemed yourself. I Not only spoke much. the truth. Yeah, but you put your reputation on the line after everything I did to you. It's all in the past, Michelle. And we both know we can't change the past. Have you decided whether you're going to accept the symbiotry's offer? No, I haven't. I told them I needed more time. Retirement's not your style, Gage. Besides, I think your ego would swell up too much if I had to call you Mr. Ambassador to the quote the last sir. Arthur? Remember, Commissioner Jack wanted you at the ceremony early. Why did I agree to that? Why, because you saved the world again! All by yourself, with absolutely no help from your all friends. All right, all right, point taken. I won't forget to mention you. Oh, thank you, kind sir. And when will this magnanimous mention occur? After dessert or during the cab ride home? I couldn't have done anything without you. Even though Genghis Khan would make a big splash at our reception, I need to assume a more formal chameleon, guys. Something macho. Gage, do we have time to jump back and meet Dick Clark? Who? Never mind. He'll probably be at the party. 
Yeah. And that is it, people. The Dune Man Project 3. Legacy of Time. Is it a good game? Yeah. It certainly has its moments. Especially that last bit where you have to drop your guys to finish the final puzzle before the end. That threw me for a loop the first time I did that. Is it a worthy successor to its pre to buried in time? Not by a long shot. I think this game neatly ties up all the loose ends that there could possibly be. But I'm thinking Gate Back Black would probably wouldn't make a very good ambassador. Much like Admiral James T. Kirk, he was much better as a captain. I think Gates Back would probably would make a much better time agent than ambassador. <sighs> I kind of wish they wouldn't hadn't gone for the fanciful route, going for this, the mythical locations in time. But what's done is done, and this is we have all we have. I'm happy for having experienced it. Ah, and somehow, I'd hoped to have seen more of it. But it is over. Gage, your theme music is lovely, but, uh, I think it's about time we played a little something for the kids. A two, a three, a two, three. Dun 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 Arthur Dun 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 They called him Arthur Dun 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 He was an artificial intelligence that was cool Arthur Dun 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 They called him Arthur Dun dun They thought that his singing was annoying but he was no fool Artificial as soap. Artificial as rope. Artificial, artificial. He will find the love that is the one for Arthur's the lonely one. Arthur. Well, I still think GLaDOS makes a much better singer. But that was it. I've gone well over time. If you want to play this game, it's available at GOG.com. Keepers of the most magnificent games of the past. I have been Leo M. Panther. Your host, your guide your master. I will see you all next time.